Good morning, Portia. I have just managed to feed all my fishies. And I believe today is the land run. So we'll give that a shot. Which also means it is a great day to give gifts. Because double points for gifts. Good morning. Me again. I have been meaning to talk to you. I promise that there will be no misadventures this time around. Albert has asked me to hook up South Block to Portia's power grid, but it turns out that the grid can't support South Block without shorting all the fuses. That'd be a bummer. That means... That means we're going to have to find another way to generate electricity for the new town. The mayor suggested we add another power station over there, but that'll really stretch Portia's power stone supplies. After some consideration, I think we should try wind power. The strong winds coming in from the sea should be able to sustain several generators in the Eufaula Heights area. I know they use a lot of these in high wind, but it's not like we have the budget to import any. Do you think you can build a few for us? Sure. All right, that's all I'm asking for. You'll need to talk to the research center about it, since I don't have a diagram for this. Okay. Song machine you've made me is incredible. I am able to complete new garments even more quickly now. I have also found a way to update the attributes of a piece of clothing with this new machine. Why don't you come over and see for yourself? Your first one's on me, Carol. I was wondering why that was taking so long. Sunny, Dr. Zoo's books have just arrived. Please deliver delivery them to him. Typo. Alright. And I bet I can find. Hey, Ack. <laughs> I've already talked to you, cat. Hello. Hi. You're welcome. Alright, so. Let's go, Juliet. So I have not done this in a while, but let's go ahead and get... Oh, um, yeah, can't do that yet, so let's look at the prizes. Okay, so... Some nifty clothing and some tchotchkes. So, pretty typical, and then those which are for another holiday. Or is Petra here? Nora's here. Well, let's give gifts to people I know. Hi! I have gifts for. I like it. You're very nice. Yay. Hey! Gift. It really is a nice present. Thank you. Woohoo! Who do I got over here? I don't have anything for her. Oh! Let's get... Registered. And there is not much I can actually do today. Besides these three things. So... I'm not even sure if we will actually go ahead and get to Petra. I definitely want to get to Petra, though. But the goal here is... Which I'm sure it'll pop up. You run the race, and then these veggies will show up. And, um, they will give you a horse. If you don't have a horse, you can ride one of those back there. They're not very good, though, so any horse you have should be probably better. And the chili peppers will kind of give you a boost, and the turnips will, I believe, give you stamina back, so your horse can keep running. And then you need to jump some stuff. Okay. 
So these may look like the white horses. They are not the white horses. As far as quality goes. And I don't know why Sam isn't riding her horse. Hey, Alice. And Chiwa. All right, so you have to actually do two rounds. So you want to spread out these guys. Don't take every single one. anyone else is. <laughs> but ta-da! I won! <laughs> Even like, I think the colorful llama is um, better than the alternative. So... My vote is, if you have an option, Make sure you're using your own pony. Looks like it's going to start at 13.30. The only thing I don't like about this holiday is the waiting. Where are my competitors? Okay, there they are. Sonia Mars. Oh yes, and Papa Bear is totally a freaking roadblock. Uh. Alright, we win again! Five fruit salads, five cheap sodas. And 20 Rider Badges! Let's go one more time. Oh, I think I must have missed one? Well, there's only two. I don't know, that's weird. I thought there was three. Meh. Alright, well, here. Hey, Mint. Mm. I have gifts. I like it. You're very nice. Yay. Darling. Hey, handsome. I have presents in the form of noodles. Of I really like it. Yay. Uh, where is 
All the other people I need to give gifts to. Hey, Carol. Hey. I would like to give you a gift. I don't give you enough gifts. You're a nice kid. Mostly because I don't remember what you like. Hi. Hi, Phyllis. I like it. Mm, there she is. Wind generators? This is a somewhat alien subject to me, but I'll give it a go. Can you bring me five data disks to assist me in the effort? Thank Just okay. take them. I'm take going my into discs. hermit mode now to get this researched. Go home, and I'll let you know when it's done. I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay, I also need to find Dr. Zhu. Wherever he may be. We'll try the clinic. After we get stuck on a wall. Hello, tourist. Oh, my books! I've waited long for these. What happened to your hand? It looks injured. Hmm, we're getting more and more books in the clinic. I'd like to have a shelf for these medical books. The clinic has this design, but it does not help. I'm not gifted enough for this kind of work. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with him having a Oh, I can count hand. on you? Terrific! But sure, I'll make him a bookshelf. Breathly. Advanced Skeevers. One boom box. Uh, this is three hundred. This is three hundred. Uh, we'll do the boom box. I don't know. I don't know which one was better. Thank you so much. I really... Hello. Hello. Oh, do you like fruit salad? Thank you. Yes. Never expected you to give me that. Hooray. I, th I know Alice does not like fruit salad. She likes veggie salad, but not fruit salad. Remembering who likes what takes a minute. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Boy, do you know how to go all out on a holiday. Many thanks, friend. Yeah, sure, no problem. Hi. Hi. It's always nice to get your favorite thing while on holiday. Right. Nobody else is in here, so no worries. This bookshelf is of great craftsmanship, even from Polly's perspective. Thank you for all the help. Here's something for you. 
Hopefully you find them useful. Thank you. I don't know. But let's go ahead and do tomorrow because tomorrow is also the land run. Okay, so this is where we are going to run today. And this is the harder course, in my opinion. I don't even know if you can run it the day before. I have, guess I haven't tried. But it also doesn't have the same timer. It's a single run course. You're not running with other people. We're waiting. Apparently Pinky's gonna run with us. Or at least part of the way with us. Where the cat realizes it's a cat and is like, nah. <laughs> Not doing this. And here we go. And you can watch me miss all my turns and jumps. It'll be great. And also, if you fall in the water, it's like a time delay. There is like only one round. You don't have to go through it twice. Well, if you're like me, it just runs through everything anyway. Actually, that's not true. I have actually done this whole thing quite well before, believe it or not. Starting time, 12.30. I don't know why this screws with me so bad. How did I miss that? Okay, well clearly I... Okay. Oh, come on. Don't do what I do here. Okay. Okay, somehow I still got 50 points, but I can't feel that I deserved them, but sure, we'll go with it. Hey Sunny, I'm sorry, I've yet to complete my research on these wind generators just yet. Even with Merlin's help, we're lacking a vital piece of information, how to get the rotational speed of the generator up and to capacity. The current rotor speed calculations won't give us enough electrical current. I'll continue with my research to see if I can solve this. If we, if I remember correctly, Phyllis, who is from Highwind, was a specialist in the area. Maybe she knows something we don't? Petra. Okay, so let's go see if we can find Phyllis. She is probably running around here somewhere, in fact. What's Lee want? 
We'll probably do some preaching over in South Block once it's up and running. We have many followers among the travelers. I heard you help Nora with the deliveries while I was sick. Thank you so much. You have a kind heart. You're welcome. Okay. So. I'm going to try to find... Phyllis? Stop. Wind power? For South Block? I'd love to help you out, but I'm not exactly on talking terms with my family. Besides, they're silversmiths. I'm not sure how much help they'd be. <laughs> you should be talking with Nora instead. Nora? Yeah. Her family owns the Highwind Electric Company, so I'm pretty sure she knows everything there's to know about generators. Hello? I like it. Darling! Noodles! Alright. I uh, like Hi. salads. I think you like fruit salad? You could have tried a little harder. <laughs> Sorry. Hello. I remember that you only like veggie salad. Where is Nora? Hello. I'm out of the stuff you like. All right, let's wait. Oh, that's a beauty stop. So it looks like she's up at the church. Hi, can I help you? Yes, in fact. Oh. That's simple. All you need is... Wait, Nora! Minister? I've heard what's going on, Nora. You cannot help with this corrupted project. What? Why not? But... Nora, you became a missionary because of your family's position on technology, right? If you help with this, how are you different from them? That's all I'm going to say on this subject. You need to think about it and decide. Okay, it's Mr. wind Lee. power. Yes. I came on this mission because I strongly believe that what my family is doing isn't right. My father runs a major business in Highwind, and his company makes machines of war. Now, I'm not naive enough to think that we don't need any weapons at all, but after 300 years of darkness, it makes me mad that the first thing we do once we get back on our feet is start shooting each other. All right. No worries. I'll figure out another way. No, I think the minister is wrong in this instance. I know you're doing this for the benefit of Portia. Petra's missing piece is a gearbox device. I'll go tell her about it. You just wait for the diagram. Thank you. Is this okay? Don't worry. The minister will come around once he sees the result. So, I would totally understand if what we were asking for was, say, a turret? <laughs> But we're asking for a renewable energy source. I am sorry, but like, uh, I just can't stand the minister. Like, there's one decent quest with him available. And after that, uh, just, he gets on my last nerve. So, it looks like we have to wait one more day. Seventy. Does this mean that 
20 foot frickin'. It did! Ack fed the horse. So, remember how I couldn't put rice? If you've watched my other videos, you know I've been having problems putting rice in this stupid stinking container for this horse. Which is annoying. And I finally convinced Ack to do it. So Juliet can now be freaking happy. And she is! She's no longer an angry horsey because she has rice instead of lettuce or cumin or apples or anything else really because it appears that she only likes rice. Whatever. But. <laughs> Alright, well that is the land run and uh, yeah. I hope you guys are having a great day and hooray for a happy horsey.